four.
care about the death from last week. This is a great, great team. Y'all held them still to you. That's a, that's a wonder game, man. Great job, D-Man. Yeah. Yeah. You have it. Yeah. 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 I'm trying to tell y'all how good they were. I don't know if y'all believe me. They were more physical than Karen Crow, more physical than St. Charles, and probably as good a team as we're going to play on. And so, this is a big, huge win in the face of adversity. Now, it's our talent one <laughs> Down at hand. Great, great job of not quitting. Great, great job. Raymond, we did it. Hey, uh, you know who we play? Kennedy. I'm bad. All the six. All the six. We play at Atkins. Can American State, which is in New Orleans, next Friday night against, obviously, a good game. We're going to join this one. We'll work out the Hey, here's, here's the good news the bad news. What time we got to be here, Mike? 8 a.m. Yeah. Before 8 a.m. Great news, baby. Great news. No plan. That's why it's great news. So look, Thanksgiving dinner in Turkey at Coach Bowles' house. Yeah. We're going, hey, lift up for 30 minutes and film the life for this. We may not even put on the pad. Hey, this is a good news. Don't hold me to that, though. We may not, but we got out to one another pretty good. Then we, we were in this great, great day. We got this fabulous battle. I really, really proud of how hard y'all played. And at halftime, Nobody was fired. That's the mark of a good team. You knew we were going to win the second half. Great job. We're in the round of eight, fellas. The round of eight. Yeah. You know, we're not taking it straight, Alex. We're not taking charge. It's, it's 20 minutes away. So uh, we'll worry about catching money. But again, speaking for the coaches, I'm so proud of our work. Take them one win at the top of this event. We've got three more to come. We talked about the way. We know what our goal is. Coach, oh, y'all got anything? Hey guys, I'm here with Shaw quarterback Mason Wilson. He just had a huge game tonight. He was a big reason why the Shaw Eagles defeated the Evangel Christian Eagles 20 to 13 to move on to the quarterfinals. So Mason, what kind of win the golf is the game plan tonight? Oh, uh, it was a West Bank tough offense. You see, we ran the ball, what, 99% of the time. Physical, really keep the defense off the field because we know they had an explosive offense. And our defense did a good job of stopping us. So, you know, West Bank offense just run the ball down their throat. Mm -hmm. So, you know, on the defensive side, you know, those guys were awesome tonight. That's a very, very talented Evangel team. And they've been scoring 30, mm -hmm. 35, 40 points a game and has one of the top offenses in the state. So. What do you have to say about the defense tonight? Because they're incredible. All props to them. They won us this game. Even though the offense always gets all the shine, props to the defense. They shut out in the second half. You can't ask for a better performance than that. What do you have to say about your offensive line tonight, Mason? Best. I, I think we got the best offensive line in the country. So I love the offensive line. And they know that. All, all shout outs to them. I'm the one getting interviewed every week, but it should be there. Yep. What do you have to say about your team's resilience? Because, you know, you guys were down 13 to 10 at halftime. You know, you guys were getting beat up a little bit here and there, and then you guys got back up and got punched in the mouth. So what do you have to say about your team's resilience? Uh, we, we never give up. We had to fight adversity, and we fought it well. They came here, punched us in our throat, but no way nobody beats us at, at Joe Zimmerman. Mm -hmm. so. All right, congrats, Mason. Good luck to the rest of your playoffs. And you have a tough match against JFK uh, next weekend. Yes, so good sir. luck to you, man. Thank you. Thank you. No hey, guys, this is Grant Sasher at Grand Iron Football. I'm here with Shaw Office Alignment, uh, Raymond Howard. So, Raymond, what are your overall thoughts about the game tonight? Uh, my overall thoughts is that, you know, we never gave up. We kept fighting. We was down. We was down in the first half. We came back the second half ready to play and ready to keep being physical. A common theme has been West Bank tough. So what is that, what is that exactly for anybody who doesn't know? It's just something different about the West Bank, man. We, we bred tough over here, and we're not going to back down from any challenge, any fight. We're going to conquer the adversity. What do you have to say about the offensive line's performance tonight? Because that's a very tough evangel front uh, with Gabe Relaford up in the, up in the front. 
Yes, sir. Um, our offensive line, we banded together when we had to. We made we made plays when we had to, and we get we didn't give up fighting. We kept coming off the ball hard. What do you have to say about the defense tonight? Because that was an incredible performance. That I mean, that offense is one of the more talented offenses in the, uh, the state, and they average 35, 40 points a game. Yes, sir. I'm really proud of our defense. Um, they came in this game. They came ready. They bailed us out this game. Um, but you know, it's a team effort at the end of the day, and I'm really proud of it. Mm -hmm. All right, Raymond. Uh, congrats on your win, and good luck to the rest of the playoffs. Thank you. No problem. Hey guys, I'm here with uh, Jaden Scott of uh, Archbishop Shaw. You, you know, his defense played great tonight, especially that defensive front. So Jaden, what was the uh, defensive game plan coming in tonight against a very tough evangel offense? Uh, just be aggressive. Teams that like to throw the ball. We know we got a great D-line in College Francis, Trevor Whitted, myself, Mike Banks, uh, Gibson, Lamine, Sheldon Green. We just have depth. So just get after it, be physical. On the other side of the ball, on the other side, really on the trenches, the offensive line had a great game tonight. So what do you have to say about that? Uh, this is what we expect. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Spring yep. game, spring training, when we going against the ones, one on ones, it's never a day where somebody clearly wins. One day the D line wins, one day the O line wins, one day I beat Raymond, one day Raymond beats me, one day I beat Punch, one day Punch beats me. It's a back and forth, and that's what makes each other better. Does that mean. Uh, uh, Mentioned it, and I was about to actually about to get to that. What does it mean to have a, gr a great offensive line on your team so you guys can have a, that and get that practice experience to going against a tough line like uh, Banjo has? Uh, they weren't tougher than the O line we face every day, and and that's what pulls us through. You know, when we go against each other in practice, one on ones, pass rush, it's never a dull moment. You know, it's never a clear winner. So that's what makes us. That's what makes us when we go against other great O linemen. We feel like it's nothing. It's a West Bank uh, tough thing? It is. It is. It's not even just a West Bank tough thing. It's a team camaraderie. When you have a great core as a team, there's no one who can beat that. Congrats, Jaden. Uh, good luck to the rest of your playoffs. And you have another tough matchup against JFK, so good luck to you, the rest of your playoffs, my man. Yes, sir.